What's good? Just chilling now, man. We're about to set the studio on fire with this song. Shout out to Toronto. Uh, let's go. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. T dot. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? From my block to your block. From my hood to your hood. What's good? H town. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? From my block to your block. From my hood to your hood. Break it down for them. They call him Cricket Man. T die, homie. Yeah. I swear this is all I know. I'm about to go star mode. Super Mario. These cats is on me, yo. These cats is on me, yo. My Jane and Finch fam will really have you dropping low. And Gaga, they rock Louis out in Saga, they rock Gucci. Hey, Rexa, they have the same guns as Call of Duty. Walk around Flemmo, and I bet you they ask who he. And then have your body breaking up just like the Fuji's. My boy's from Driftwood. Now there's your worst nightmare. Right too much ice, and you better hope they just stare. Big up the park, they way. Ain't nobody play fit. Yeah, they call it Regent Park, but ain't nobody play there. Glendale, Melvin, Lakeshore, Section 6. Rep your hood no matter where it is. I'm in Malton smoking on cannabis. Smoke with me, can you handle it? I bet you say, yes, you can. Been hood all my life, so I'm feeling like a jungle man. Hustle home me like you from Bleak or a Palmer. Yeah, I look good. I put that on my mama. Whatever hood you from, everybody feeling me. Everybody riding. TTC, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? From my block to your block, from my hood to your hood. What's good? 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 This is Saga. What's good? Malton. What's good? Malton. What's good? Yeah. yeah, they call me kicking man. They call me kicking man. They call me kicking man. Yeah. Uh-huh. T dot what's T-dot. good. So tell you yo, what's, what's good? good? Uh-huh. T dot what's good. Yeah. What's good? What's good? Yeah, congratulations to Cricket Man. He does he deserve it. Well, we certainly had a lot of great musicians this mu- musicians this, this season. But let's take a break and change gears to something different. Our very own Marianne Mass went to Black Creek Pioneer Village. Do you ever wonder what life was like for our ancestors or what we take for granted today? Well, Marianne found out the answers. Let's take a look. Today we invite you to travel back in time and above all, have fun. Black Creek Pioneer Village opened in 1960 as a tribute to the Toronto area's pioneering roots. The museum, built around the original Stong Farm on the banks of Black Creek, grew to include other historic buildings, which were moved here from surrounding communities. Every year, thousands of people from the area and around the globe visit to experience something of Canada's past in the homes, workshops, and various public buildings that together present this part of the world as it looked in the 1860s. My name is Nelia and I'm a visitor from Kazakhstan. When I was still back in my home country, I have heard about the Black Creek Pioneer Village that's located in Toronto. So this time I decided to check it out. It was nice because it gave me a sense of Canada's pioneer history. It has the collection of period accurate shops, buildings and little houses. Uh, Most of the buildings have actors inside of them who have the costumes of the period of the time and tell you interesting stories. 1860s, no electricity, but that's okay. By the mid-19th century, tin plate was cheap and plentiful, and a skilled tinsmith could produce a variety of useful and inexpensive housewares. The first time I came, it was about 25 or 22 years ago with my sons. Two sons, they were so excited. Especially uh, things are so much uh, different as now. 
especially kitchens and how they're making uh, you know, rice and um, wheat and so on. And one good thing, uh, they were so happy to have a horse wagon thing. They were going to ride. So now I'm with my grandchildren. So they have the same excitement as my son had before. There are many different programs to help visitors understand the past and appreciate the links between history and modern life. Maple syrup. It's a Canadian thing. Gather around the fire and learn how pioneers made maple syrup and treat yourself to pancake breakfast. So, as I was saying, now, um, all trees produce sap, but only one tree produces the sweetest sap, and that's the sugar maple tree. The sugar maple trees can be found in Ontario, Quebec, and in some parts of the northern United States. So that's my medicine, mixed with flour. This elegant house served as the home and office of the village doctor and brought a sense of security and preeminence to a small community like Black Creek. His household shows the comfortable lifestyle of a country doctor, while his office reflects the state-of-the-art medical practices of the 1860s. Okay, so one of the, one of the things I do as a town doctor is I make all the drugs up. And if I decide you need to get pills to make you feel better, that's how I do it. I can't because I don't have flower water or acacia gum. I only have the whatever the, whatever the plant is. And it's pretty messy. Equipped with twin forges, carpenter shop, a trim shop, paint and varnish rooms, the carriage works house a thriving business where wagon, carriages and sleighs were built. The east wing of the carriage works was rented out by a cabinet maker who made furniture. This is a typical one-room rural school of the period. The design and seating arrangement followed the recommendation of Ergeton Ryerson, founder of Ontario's public school system. Here, we can learn more about baking, and thank you so much for the free cookies. The event pavilion served as a focal point for festivals and stage performances throughout the operating season. It's really good to take kids up here to give you them a lesson. I absolutely loved it. It's a great place to visit for anybody. Yeah, I really enjoy Bye, Pioneer Village. We will come back in the summer. Welcome back everyone. We're here with Jeff the World who plays chip tunes. So Jeff, for all our viewers out there, could you explain to us what chip, tune, chip tunes are? Uh, well, chip music is music that's synthesized uh, in real time on uh, computer or video game uh, sound chips. Um, in this case, Game Boys. Cool. Ooh. Like with Game Boys, first thing that comes to mind is you know playing video games. When did you decide to like actually play music out of these tools? Well, I've been listening to the genre for uh, most of my life and related genres for most of my life. And most people actually have be because people played these old video games when they were kids and they've heard this music. Um, so at one point or another, I decided that, you know, I'd you know, give it a shot and make it myself. That's interesting. So where can our viewers find your music? Uh, well, actually, I just had an album uh, released just yesterday. And you can grab the MP3 downloads for free off my website at jefftheworld.com. Oh, cool. That's interesting. Can I introduce them? So guys... Let's hear what Jeff has to offer. Take it away, Jeff. <laughs> 